Alright. World. Galleon. Delete world. Goodbye, Galleon. Alright, we're gonna start up into the world of Azkabaz. So, new game. Preset. I've already built the character. Birdman. Azkabaz. This is the Birdman of Azkabaz. Alright. Birdman of Azkabaz. Alright, so if you uh, have not read the challenge information, uh, exclamation point challenge, you can see that the challenge is Storm Shaper Birdman. We're going to do the Wizard's Vacation start. We're going to try to advance the Storm Shaper as far as possible and become a post threshold Birdman. 16 2 Mega City freeform build. So, this is a freeform. You'll notice we've got more points than we could possibly get via any of the other modes. And uh, the challenge is directly suggested and submitted to me via my Discord channel. I have a suggestions section. And uh, Zizix. Zizix is responsible for this nonsense. So, if it goes horribly, blame Zizix. It's all his fault. So, yeah. So if you're interested in a particular challenge, feel free to submit it via my, uh, my Discord channel. It's the best way to do it. I'll never remember if you put it in to the chat or anything like that. Um, but in the Discord channel, I can easily go back and review the ideas and the submissions and then uh, pick one to do. So I do ask that you try to keep it somewhat realistic. I mean, asking me to do a uh, winter start, naked and afraid, with cold-blooded trait and 4444 stats... That's not, that's not something I'm interested in. <laughs> not even a little bit. That's just suicide. I mean, there's there's no way to survive it. So, uh, And if there were, it's just pure, pure random luck, which I'm also not interested in. So try to keep them somewhat balanced and interesting or some kind of a hook to them. Um, so this one is uh, unbalanced a bit, so it is free form. But Zizix tells me that uh, he counted the points out and it, it balances from the positive to the negative. From what I can see, it looks like it does. The the stats are in, in just fine a shape. No problem there. And um, the traits definitely add up to more. Just Wayfair and Fragile alone exceed the 12-point limit. Um, but this one's kind of stacked in a few ways and uh, is kind of designed to be interesting in other ways. So this is going to be basically a super, super speedy character, hopefully. I mean, we're starting out with Quick and Fleet Foot, so that gives you some idea, plus Light Step. And then on top of that, the Storm Shaper has a Windrunner special ability and our Windrunner spell that also speeds you up. And uh, hopefully we can get some other additions to that. Maybe uh, get the Roadrunner trait, get the, or mutation, get the, um, the haste spell, get uh, rollerblades, get yeah, all sorts of stuff. We're going to see just how ridiculously fast we can make this person. Uh, Birdman cannot drive a car. Wayfarer means no cars. So we're going to do another Wayfarer run. I'm fine with that. Uh, we do have a bad back and we're pretty pretty weak. Strength 7 with a bad back and fragile glass jaw. Oh, goody. <laughs> Low strength fragile run. Oh, so much fun. Now I've added one thing and only one thing to what he suggested. Everything else is exactly as Zizek submitted to me with the sole exception being I added the self-aware trait. Anytime I do these super low health runs, I give myself the self-aware trait, even if I have to cheat it or debug it in, just because I, I want it, I need it for these super, super low hit point runs. The bar system is too unreliable when you're dealing with like 18 hit points max. So I need to know down to the minute increment, the, the exact integer of my health, not vague bar representing a certain percentage when I'm on that low of a health uh, chase. So <laughs> we'll see what we can do about that. But um, yeah, so that's the only thing I've added to what he suggested. Otherwise, this is what we've got. So we're going to be the Birdman of Azkabaz. Uh, the Wizard's Vacation is the island start. The Wizard's Tower on the island. So we'll see what the map does with a uh, Wizard Tower Island start with a mega city. Uh, 16 two city settings. I am using my other standard settings for the most part. I have changed it up a bit. I actually turned on random NPCs. Why? Why, you ask for them? Did you turn on random NPCs? Eh, no particular reason. <laughs> Just because. A little bit of variety. We'll, we'll see what happens and if I ever even find one. Um... Yeah, every once in a while I just get wacky and um, I turn them on. So we've got, uh, we've got and random NPCs turned on. I dialed them up to 5.0. I think 5.0 for the spawn rate for uh, the NPC. So maybe we'll see some. It's a mega city, so they usually die five seconds after I see one. 
they enter my reality bubble, then all the zombies mob them. So, <laughs> we'll, I, I don't know if we'll ever actually encounter one with this kind of a setup. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, other than that, um, I think that's everything about this run. So, let's, um, let's check chat real quick. And we'll get things rolling. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, is saying hello. Happy holidays. Um... I don't think that power number has been in that particular location that long. I could be wrong. Maybe I've just totally ignored it or haven't done enough Bionics runs recently. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of ways we can uh, affect our speed. Yeah, carry weight's going to suck. <laughs> Seven strength with bad back. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is going to be uh, a, a naked bird run, this is what it's going to be. Um, somebody do research and tell me what's the best, in your opinion, your, your most educated and knowledgeable opinion, what's the best martial arts for this restricted character? Meaning, low strength, pretty high dex, and bad back, so I'm not going to be able to carry a whole bunch of armor, we're going to have to rely on dodge, we're going to have to rely on uh, movement... Things like that. So I, I forget, especially after the rework of all the martial arts. So somebody somebody go do the math and do the figuring. And uh, let me know which ones I'm supposed to be looking out for. Um, Yeah. And then we'll have to figure out, depending on what we find, which uh, magic classes we're going to lock ourselves into. So, all right. I think, I think we're good to go. So I don't see any other questions being thrown at me in chat there. Um, do keep an eye out this weekend I'm going to be recording a video uh, about the state of the channel and changes that are coming up that I plan on uh, putting into place uh, first of the year um, I am still looking for donations for hardware upgrades so if anybody uh, got, got got given a whole crap load of money from their grandmama and just can't think of a way to spend it hey donate to uh, your favorite streamer may or may not be me it could be somebody else feel free donate <laughs> I need lights. It won't give me a headache when I stream for 12 hours a day. Uh, I'm not saying staff slings are broken. <laughs> I personally think that they're overpowered. But um, I've, I've made my case. I've, I've demoed it on screen. I've, um, I've talked about it in a few of the forums and discords and reddits. If other people don't feel that way, then apparently I'm wrong. And it's just fine. And everybody can keep using it. I play the game they give me. So, <laughs> um, I got no problem with it. I mean, it has its negatives. I just personally think it's got too many positives. Um, too, too many things. So, do, 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 do. crane style, crane style. <laughs> yeah, well, kind of fits the uh, the mode. But is crane style really a? Uh, I'd have to go look it up. I, I don't remember crane crane style and what it offers, but um, we'll keep an eye out. The chance I'm going to find Crane Style, though, so low, so low. Uh-oh, I see the Zombie Dog Cookie Supply is getting bought out. Do, 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 do. How many How many have been bought so far? Two? All right. He, he was sitting right here next to me, guarding the exit. He wasn't going to let me get away. He saw me He saw me grab my tea and said, Hey, hey, is it tea and cookie time? He got a little confused. Not quite tea and cookie time. Yeah, we're going to need something dex, dodge, movement-based, definitely, for, for a martial art. But as always, it's going to come down to what we actually get a hold of. Um, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I was talking about... Uh, so keep an eye out on my YouTube channel. I'll be posting a video I'll be making up here pretty quick. Do planning on making some changes to the channel and um, how much I participate in it and what is going to be on the channel and all that good stuff. So... Make sure you let me know your opinions. I'll be asking some questions of folks uh, during that video. So, um, yeah. All right, let's get moving. Birdman of Azkabaz. Let's, uh, let's jump right in. Yes, I am sure we're finished. Please, please. Please, Map Gen. <laughs> please, Map Gen. I'll, I'll put all my luck into this right here. I don't care how much you screw me elsewise. Give me some good Map Gen. Come on, Map Gen Mojo. All right, we're in the tower. Uh, we've got a cloak of some kind. We've learned wind runnering and lightning bolt. Cool. 
First thing I'm going to do is check my map, Jen. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> That's a lot of swimming. That's a lot of swimming somewhere. I can't even see the mainland. I once again have no idea which way to go. Mainland could be right here. Mainland could be right here. Mainland could be right here. <laughs> I just don't know. This could be the mainland. Uh, crap. I hate it when I start on these islands and I can't even see the mainland. Yeah, there's no boat. <laughs> I can't drive a boat. Boat is a vehicle. I am a wayfarer. I cannot drive boats. We're just going to have to run really, really fast and skim across the water. Okay, well, that's problem number one. <laughs> no idea where Mega City might be. Problem number two. We got a whole bunch of nothing. We got a backpack and a trench coat, which is okay. We got no other magic books or scrolls or anything. Really? None? <laughs> that sucks. That sucks a lot. That's uh, that's pretty bad. For usually this room has got at least a scroll or another another spell book or something. Huh. All right. We'll take those. Don't care at the moment. Well, we'll 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 take that just because we're gonna make a pile somewhere. One cream soda. That's it, huh? I am not impressed. What else? Was that a steel skillet? Steel steel frying pan, huh? Plus all the knives, raincoat, and general food items. All right, give me, give me, give me, and everything to this location. Yeah, again, not impressed. I think we got a pretty bad draw for a wizard tower. If I don't get a single other magic something or other. Well, we got we got Oh, we got the Bracers of Lightning again. I love the Bracers of Lightning. Alright, I'll shut up now. <laughs> that all by itself is hugely helpful. Give me Bracer of Lightning. Crystallized mana. Another book would be nice. Mana potion. Uh we are. We've got eyeglasses. We're what, nearsighted? Yeah, we're nearsighted. Uh, let's grab another pair of eyeglasses just in case. I don't care about calcium. Vitamins are all messed up. Ring of Perception! Wow, we got a magic item with a bonus! That's a, I think that's the very first one I've seen. Of anything. <laughs> I've seen the Bracer of Lightning once before and it's awesome. Uh, it's the first time I've seen a, uh, an item of plus something. And perception's good for us. I'll take it. Alright. Oops. I don't want... What did I just pick up? I don't want a polo shirt. Alright, and I think that's it. I think we're done. There's not going to be anything else up here. That's the roof. So, we're done. Alright, we got to make do with what we got. So the big score is the, uh, in my opinion, the bracer. So if you haven't seen this before, it's going to be awesome for us because it has two really, really important functions. It casts the jolt spell at level 15, <coughs> which is pretty significant. It can only do it three times per day. So 72 charges and it's, it, it, yeah, it, I'm pretty sure it's three times per day. Um, for decent damage though. And uh, yeah, jolt three times per day. And it uh, protects your body with a light aura to reduce electrical damage. So it, it basically renders me nearly immune to uh, shockers, um, which is great. So that's a that's a hugely beneficial thing, especially for a character like this build, where we're going to be running around a lot, and shockers are pretty much the one thing that I worry about when I'm playing a fast character and I'm trying to run around towns. So that is that is tremendously beneficial to us. Okay, now the problem is going to be we start with no swim skill, <laughs> so I'm going to have to go learn to, learn to swim. We're going to have to do the swim shuffle again. Plus, I have to figure out um, which direction we have to travel. Um, we haven't investigated the island yet. We could have zombies on the island with us. Let's see. I need these are wooden racks.
Anything down here is wood also. Hmm. We didn't even start with a single spell or spell book. <laughs> so we, we got our spells and that's that's all we got. And I can't even I mean difficulty two, difficulty six, but I can't even train. I got no no materials to train with. I got no books of any kind to try to train up my spellcraft. That seems weird. So I'm a little unhappy about that. We're going to be severely hampered in doing any kind of magic training. So wind running. A magical wind pushes you forward as you move, easing your movements and increasing speed. Requires concentration. Verbal does not require hands. Requires mobility. And can be cast through walls. Um, okay. I guess that's for allies you cast it on. <coughs> Casting cost 100. I've got uh, 1,800 max mana in my current configuration. And then the good old Lightning Bolt. 14 electrical damage, 140 mana. Yeah, that's... I mean, that would take like <laughs> five, six casts just to drop a standard zombie. If I could even cast it right now, it's too difficult. Difficulty six, and I'm I won't even be able to cast this thing for quite a while. So we're basically 50% fail rate. At least I can cast the wind running, but we won't even be able to use lightning bolt until I get off the island and find a way of raising my spellcraft or the lightning bolt spell. Just casting, I can't even cast this to gain gain XP. I could cast that, but the XP gain is so small that it's barely irrelevant. So yeah. But um, let's look at the important part right here. <laughs> this is the important part. 16 on the head. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> at least he didn't uh, try to squirrel in imperceptive healer on me at the same time. Ugh. Hmm. Um, what to do, what to do. So, we gotta wear the bracers. We gotta wear the ring. Now we have nine perception. Um, there's not much for me to take with me, so... I need to get enough swimming skill that, um, I can carry what I've got without sinking. Which is going to take me probably a couple of days if we just focus on swim skill all by itself. Yeah, it's all about damage avoidance. <laughs> way, way avoidance. <clears throat> oh, believe me, I know. I'm excited about the Bracer of Lightning. <laughs> that is huge for this kind of a situation. Alright, um, let's see, go ahead and read that, read that, drop them off again, drop all that, drop the spare, get rid of the trench coat, yeah, get rid of the trench coat. So, in that basic configuration, we've got a fair amount of volume, very little weight, Let's, um, let's go outside and shock some things <laughs> with our Bracers of Lightning. <clears throat> I actually need a weapon of some kind. Uh, strength 7, huh? Come here, steel frying pan. <laughs> that looks hilarious. That looks hilarious. Come here, plank. All right, let's, before I make a mess, I'm <coughs> breaking things up. What? Is there anything in here I can, I, I can't remember the last time I did the, uh, the run. If there's, I think there's metal in the wardrobe. I think it has a pipe. Ah, there's a pipe. All right, pipe and scrap metal. Crowbar, please. Ah, I only got one pipe. <laughs> I need another one. All right, come with me.
Ah, oh, I got no pipe that time. You punk. I, I still don't have a tool I can use to hammer with. <laughs> Damn it. Those are the only two opportunities I think I get for the pipe. Yeah, ain't nothing up here. Nothing up on the other floor either. I'm gonna have to go out and get a rock. Uh, I don't think the shower provides one. No. Why well, to remember that uh, those two dressers, wardrobes, are my only options. So it's uh, let's go get a rock time. Basically, I need a hammering. Can't do anything I need to do without the hammering. Let's see. Go for the cudgel while I wait for the pipe. Nah, we'll uh. We'll assume we can handle that. Alright. Let's, uh, let's peek outside. What's out there? Bad zombie and a tough zombie. Both of which can see me in my current position. Hmm. And out this way. No rocks in sight currently. Let's... Gonna be a rockless island. <laughs> That'll be hilarious. There's one. We has achieved a rock. <laughs> Level one hammering quality. So far, it's just those two zombies that I've seen. Fat zombie. Oh, and a beaver. Seen any other structures yet? All right, let's uh, let's head back and get the basics done, preferably without attracting attention. We got a few puddles of clean water right out back here, so water won't be an ongoing issue. Although, I don't think did I get a single container I can put water in? Because that's another pretty pretty major problem. Uh, knives, frying pan, yeah, we do. We got gallon jugs and bottles. All right, so we'll be okay. So the basics are taken care of. All right, now give me the crowbar, please. Now we can dump the rock and the plank and craft lock picks, which I... Uh, we'll just do five... What are we at? Fab 50%. Um, I don't want to do more than that because we've got a super limited amount of uh, metal. I think I'll just go with the crowbar. Well, crowbar is terrible. We need... Um, how am I going to do this? We can't afford to get hit. I can't just step up to these two zombies. I've only got three casts of my bracers. Might kill one of them. But that means I'm gonna have to deal with the other one. No board trap. I can probably get quite a few. Um... Well, that's a nail board. That's not the trap. <clears throat> three plank. Three planks. 20 nails, so we can actually do uh, a couple of these. And then I can maneuver them around. <coughs> huh. All right, I think we're gonna we're gonna need to do that. 
Get the crowbar. Make some noise. Nailboard traps. Let's see, inside or outside? Oh, and we got more zombies. So we got at least four zombies on the island with us. Nailboard trap. There. On in, zombie. One bar down. <clears throat> Still only one bar. Ooh, yeah, not good. All right, he's gonna be, he's the hit point sponge. Let's do the bracer, whoops. All right, nope. Stop casting that. Let's make sure everything's in range. I forgot it was an AOE. I thought it was just a single target. So there's still a tough out there. Come on, regular zombie. <sighs> Dang it. <laughs> and already we're down hit points. Activate. Racer. Alright, now they should die on the traps if I can keep them moving. Dude, die already. Jeez. Alright. <clears throat> what do we get? An RPG die. <laughs> Just what I needed. Well, that's unfortunate. That's a whole bunch of nothing. Alright, we got two more casts of our... Uh, our, our, our lightning bracelet. <clears throat> Let's see if we can locate and drag everybody else in here that might need killing. I saw a tough earlier. I need to figure out where the tough went. He probably went chasing an animal and he could be off in the middle of the water somewhere now. We'll do a quick reconnoiter. I'm still only seeing that one rock that we found so far. <clears throat> All right, uh, looks like the tough has wandered off into the, the ocean somewhere. Oh, that's right. We got the boathouse here with the shelf with some metal. Nothing but the uh, the ladder. We need a rope. That'll be helpful as well when we go adventuring in the city, if we ever find out where it's at. Alright, so... 
Um... I think I need to take at least... Yeah, at least that one. Workbench. Alright, leave that alone for the moment. <clears throat> Alright, I think the island's clear for the moment, unless the uh, zombie comes wandering back. Let's... Uh, let's leave the traps up where they're at. Alright, so we got a safe place for the fire, we've got a table... <laughs> Craft on. Sleep upstairs. <clears throat> um, might make two more nail boards. I think six would give me enough to run around and uh, do what I was just doing. Keep killing things. Nine would be ideal. Three by three grid. Works great. I've got four. Yeah, I could do five more easily. Oops, those are nail boards, not nail board traps. Yeah, I got just enough planks, no problem. Nails a little tougher, but yeah, I could do a I could do a three by three grid. And then you just kind of circle around the grid and let the zombie keep advancing towards you and um, kills them. Yeah, kind of works for crafting just fine. It's not as good as a workbench, but um, it removes the need for using that extra menu to pick what you want to do and all that kind of stuff. So canners, tables, workbenches, all that good stuff works fine. Um, all right, back to our list here. I want to make makeshift hammer, so I am going to need to get some curtains. I don't want to take my long rope apart if I can avoid it. Are there are curtains up here. There are. Do I need curtains in my workroom? I don't. We're going to be sleeping upstairs. So I need one of these rooms to keep the curtains. Do I have a blanket? I don't even have a blanket. Not even a blanket. All right. Let's, uh, we'll use the big room, I guess, with the big bed. For that, I need to leave alone. The rest of this, tear them down, tear them down. Give me the sticks, the strings, the nails. Where are the sheets? Oops. All right, we're going to disassemble some sheets. Still surprises me you can do this without a knife. I mean, I have knives nearby, but um, you get rags and thread when you disassemble them. So I'm going to do a few of those. Give me the basics, and we're going to do a needle. Whoops, I can't do a wooden needle. I need fab one, I believe. Um, let's do... Get our hammer done. Wait, nope, oh, that'll use my rock. <laughs> Makeshift hammer, that's it. Oh, actually, we've got steel now, so that'll work too. All right, use the stick. Use the thread we just grabbed. So we've got the hammer. Now I need the screwdriver. Uh, let's use the scrap metal for that. The other stick. All right. Why was it not using the table for that? Hmm. Bandages. Huh. 
Huh, apparently the counter is not being used. That's weird because this is coming up. So why is it not placing the items on the counter? That doesn't make any sense. Did something change recently? Well, if it wouldn't count for crafting, why is why does this come up? Craft items, recraft, craft as long. Yeah, I, I think it's a bug because I've definitely used counters before. So if we do a crafting spot right here, I say make just just redo bandages. Yeah, it's not working for anything. So it's not just a counter; <laughs> it's something going on. Oh, crazy kid death redeemed Devonesco Chapeau. All right. All right, first a warning for anybody that uh, hasn't been here in a little while: <laughs> prepare yourself, apply your filters. All right, don't want anybody to get blinded accidentally. Uh, let's put that there. Alright. Let's, um, deconstruct and get rid of that. So, it's not a counter thing. It's a broken mechanic. One more batch. There's tailoring one. Still only at 64% fab. I'm still a little nervous about the amount of metal I've got. So let's let's finish fab to one by doing more nailboard traps. Can't go wrong there. Go ahead and give me all five. That'll give me nine. I can do a three by three grid, which is my favorite for a uh, high, high speed character. Did we get fab one? Nope. What the hell's that? Oh, that train's trap. <laughs> Never mind. Um, not fab. <clears throat> let's see. Let's do <coughs> I don't want to keep doing uh I do that's useful. That still didn't make it. <laughs> 98. So much for all my limited supply of metal. 99! Piss me off. <laughs> so many lockpicks. Good old Focus 32. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get a... Um... Get a bandage thrown onto our leg. We hit. All right, so we obviously can't spend much time here on the island. <clears throat> I have no direction, no idea which direction to, to swim. We're gonna have to spend a, a time getting our swim skill up. Only food I've got in the building here is some uh, canned fruit and some soy sauce. <laughs> that's it. Uh, yeah, that's not a lot. I can't even do pine nuts unless I scramble and get uh, survival two cooking one, which took a, take another full day. I could uh, if if I have enough bushes and trees and such on the island here to uh, get to survival too. What's the name of the YouTube playlist to watch if you're completely new to the game? Uh, well, there is a tutorial series. It's getting a little long in the tooth. It's the first thing I put up on YouTube a couple years ago. It's still about 90% accurate, but um, there are definitely some changes between then and now, and uh, it is early in my, my YouTube career, <laughs> so... I always cringe when I hear the sound quality on that, but um, it's um, it's still there. The one I'd recommend you take a look at, though, if you're brand new to the game, is the live stream tutorial. That one I did, I don't remember, six months ago, eight months ago, and uh, it's still very up to date on most of the mechanics. It's actually a walkthrough of the uh, early couple of days in the, uh, the playthrough, so... 
Default survivor start and an evac shelter, although now the evac shelters have changed. <laughs> Doesn't matter what I put up, it, it all gets changed pretty quickly. So, uh, But the live stream tutorial, if you load into your own game, and even if you just listen to it while you uh, play yourself, obviously you can watch it as well. But um, I talk about the, the whys and the hows and the, the what to do's and, and so on for surviving the first couple of days. With demonstrations, how to uh, how to prepare your local uh, tools and materials, how to get some food, how to uh, raid the nearby town, all that kind of stuff. Yep, that'd be the one. Yep, tutorial stream, evac shelter demonstration. That's the one. A lot of good stuff in that one. And then a lot of the stuff you'll see appearing on my YouTube channel are challenge series like this one, where I have some kind of a specific theme or a combo of really horrifying character traits and stats to try to deal with. So this stuff is very much try hard, expert level gameplay. So don't be trying the game settings you see me doing on these challenge series yourself for, for a while yet. Or do. <laughs> Go crazy. Your game. I wouldn't recommend it, though. <clears throat> All right. I'm not overly worried about the food situation, by the way. I mean, I can survive damn near anything. I, I can't remember ever starving in anything less than a naked and afraid winter start <laughs> type of suicide start. So we can work around all of that. It really comes down to just timing. Um, we're in the spring, so we have no fruit that we can go pick or anything like that. Um, we've got pine nuts would be no problem. I would just have to go out and scavenge slash craft my way to survival too. And then we could have pine nuts. So we, we could live on the island for a period of time if I wanted to. But there's no point. I mean, there's nothing here for me to learn or to use or to do. So we need to get off the island as quickly as possible. There's just no benefit to staying here. So I need to raise my swimming skill to at least two. God, it's going to suck trying to raise it to three, but we might actually have to raise it to three. So trying to keep my morale and focus up so we can uh, we can train the swimming school is going to be hard. I got a few happy books down below. I got no happy foods. I got nothing else that's really going to keep my morale up. Um... Focus is 31, so we've already tanked our focus. Yeah, this is going to be bad. Spend the time getting survival and cooking up, or... Boiling water will get me to cooking one, so I don't have to worry about that. It's just the survival. So I either need to spend time. Isn't there a survival recipe, a survival one recipe? <clears throat> so I don't have to grind bushes to survival two. Can't remember. Too many things to remember in this game. My poor old brain. Uh, that one. Do do. I think digging stick, maybe. Makeshift sling, but it does, doesn't give any XP. I mean, a sheet in 48 seconds, it's just, it's not going to give any XP. Sock mitts, the bindle, rags and planks. I I got another three bed sections and a... I, I could do it out of the bindle. I can't do this. I can't do the sling, the knapsack. Bindle would be the only option. Let's see how much XP we get out of a single... Well, god damn it. My focus sucks. Erg. Erg. 
I'm not sure if wind running does anything for swim speed. I've never cast a wind running spell, so I'm unsure of all of its effects. I can't imagine it does anything for swimming other than just gives you your normal speed up. Swimming is really just about buoyancy. Your skill has to exceed certain weight limits. So naked, pretty much anybody can swim. But as soon as you start wearing clothes and carrying backpacks and gear, you need higher and higher levels of swimming to not sink. So it's all about the uh, balance between how much gear and how much weight you're carrying and your swimming skill. So if I want to get out of here, for example, with just this bare minimum of tools and stuff, with a few things added, I'm probably at least going to need a three or four swimming skill. I can't really get it to four. Three is achievable with some effort and some time. It's going to take like two days of doing nothing but uh, swimming back and forth in the shallows to do it. And um, even then, I'm probably going to have to make multiple trips, which is why it sucks that I can't see the mainland, that I'm not close to the mainland. Because I don't know which direction to go. So, I mean, I'm going to have to like swim out to this island and see if I, I won't even be able to see the view distance out to the edge. I'm going to have to do a whole bunch of swimming to even figure out where to go. Yeah, I do see that one shallow there. Might be the mainland, might be another island. No no way to know ahead of time. So, that's the part that's going to suck. Uh, I'm just trying to decide, do I prep for the possibility it's going to take me four or five days to get off this island? Given the number of directions I might have to swim? If so, I need to spend my time getting a uh, survival skill up. If not, I think I might be able to do it right off the bat. Then it's just concentrate on um, swimming and uh, gear up and run. Yeah, the stamina regen. I I don't do a lot of swimming. I've never really had a problem with the stamina portion of swimming, but I don't know. There's various things about it. I just don't have a lot of experience with doing swimming. Well, let's go out and demo swimming and sinking. <laughs> let's do that first. We'll just go right down to the waterline here. We'll, ex we'll, we'll explain the swimming concept. So right now, geared as I am with no swimming skill, if I step into the water, into deep water, I'll sink. I mean, I can move into shallow water, no problem. But you also don't gain any skill in shallow water. So, right now, swimming zero, zero, we're not going to gain anything in shallow water. It just slows me down a lot. 359 points to move a space. As soon as I slip, sip, bleh, step here, dive into the deep water, sure, you sink like a rock. <laughs> so now I'm underwater and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lose my breath and then we'll start drowning. But we got to climb back out. Did we gain any skill? Hey look, we gained 1% swimming skill by jumping in the water and almost drowning. <laughs> Now, if I come over here and I divest myself, oops, of all my stuff, now we can dive in and we don't start swim. We don't start sinking. So now we can just kind of swim up and down. But notice my focus is dropping. It's holding at about thirty, and that's gained me eighteen percent. So you guys get to watch uh, a naked cartoon man <laughs> just uh, go back and forth in the water here for uh, about the next two days, essentially. And it's going to slow down as the focus continues to drop, as you see it is. <laughs> it's not the most exciting process. We're halfway to one. Am I freezing? No, temperature's fine. Apparently we're in the tropics. We're in the tropic portion of New England during the springtime uh, swimming in the, in the water. Can't imagine that's um, <laughs> that's normal. It would seem more like a, a, a polar bear challenge in New England in springtime to go hop in a lake. We're up to seventy-two percent. Focus, focus is down to twenty-four. We're coming up on about what ten a.m. Yeah, ten ten to eleven a.m. We've already had a couple hours go by. Yeah. So far, no, uh, no, no fish has come over to nibble on my toes, or other other parts. Ninety-two. 
We'll go to one, and then we'll go grab some items, and we'll see if we can... Oh, there's one. Oh, where's my gear? So let's see if I can put on... Oh, my jeans. No. Nope, sink like a rock. <laughs> Just the jeans. How about... <coughs> How about um, the sneakers? Hey, look at that. We can wear sneakers. I forget the math. There's there's some math involved in weights or... I, I don't know exactly how it's done, but... Definitely not the backpack. Yeah, definitely not the backpack. Alright, you get the idea, though. We're going to need to get at least to three in order for me to carry anything with me so I can at least make trips back and forth to grab all the gear I want. So we'll probably do some naked swimming. We'll do some scouting while leveling up our swimming and um, take advantage of it instead of just staying at the coast here. Uh, so give me a second. Let me get my gear back on real quick and then we'll figure out how we're going to do this. I need, at least need to be able to wear my, my glasses <laughs> while I'm swimming. Alright, so we got swimming one, about 10 a.m. We don't have a we don't have an overabundance of pine trees for pine nuts on this island either. Uh, I'm tempted to turn on auto forage and get some survival skill. At least get survival to one. Just in case, kinda hedge my bets. Yeah, let's do that. Options. Auto pickups on. Auto features. No pulping right now. Forage everything. And I don't have much carry space, so we're going to end up dropping a ton of stuff real fast. Well, hey there, three liter glass jar. Really? Why? I mean, I'm confused. Auto pickup, not doing the pickup part. Pick that up. Auto pickup being picky. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Now we're full up on it. Don't need willow barks. I don't care about pine bows because I don't have the book that'll give me the recipe for pine needle tea. All I want is pine cones. to focus one fifth of the XP we would normally get <clears throat> that's the part that's really gonna reek about this 